Today we have a 2012 Toyota Tundra with a 3UR FE or 5.7 liter engine, two wheel drive. Uh, we're doing the uh, rear main seal here. So obviously the first thing, which is the biggest hassle, is removing the transmission. Um, to do so, most of the work is gonna be getting the bolts that go to the torque meter to the flywheel there because the only hole is through the starter and the proper procedures to get the starter out involves removing the exhaust manifold, but I was able to get it out without um, doing so. Biggest key is to remove the heat shield first and then get the starter out and then it's just a whole angle struggle, but it's doable. So transmission gone, we get the flywheel here. Go ahead and mark it like I did so. These two pieces are separate. Um, I believe they're separate, most of the time they are. But anyways, um, go ahead and mark it so we put in the same position. Uh, and then with the 14, and our impact so it just doesn't spin when we're using a ratchet. Uh, we're gonna remove all these bolts here, 14, 12 point, and then um, removing the flywheel, and then therefore we'll expose the rear main seal. All right, so now with those bolts removed, let's just take these all away. The Remember marking them so we know what direction this goes. This pretty much all just comes off like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mark that before I slide these off, just so I know um, how to put these back in and at what position. So once we do that, it will expose that rear main seal. As you can see the oil from the bottom, it's leaking. So let me go ahead and mark that up and take it up. Now in FYI, when removing this, be extra careful with this here. Uh, this is what the crank sensor there picks up on. So if any of these teeth get damaged or anything, it will cause a misfire. So let's get this out the way. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up too from all this oil. Make sure to be very safe with this. And then you see the rear main seal there. So we're gonna remove that. Um, so I do have a rear main seal tool that pulls it out, but you can also use a uh, flathead. Um, but they do recommend putting a piece of tape on the end of it so you don't cut anything. Um, but pretty much just going from the inside lip seal and just yanking it out. So I'm gonna get this out, clean this up, and get ready to install the new one. All right, so I have this tool here to get the uh, seal out. Basically, just more leverage. Same concept, use a screwdriver. So just kind of work it out, little by little. I might need both my hands to hold this, but you can see it's starting to come out. But we'll get that out and we'll clean it. All right, so my seal's removed. Um, before we add a new one, without my glove on, I'm gonna go around here and make sure that I didn't make any burrs or nicks when removing the old one just so that when we put the new one in, it doesn't get cut up and leak again. We gotta do all this all over again. So just removing transmission alone is like eight hours and starters five of those hours. So uh, everything looks good. So we'll get ready to install. So I have our new seal here. Before I put it in, I'm gonna put some grease on the inner lip only. Um, just an FYI, only the inner lip, you should put some grease on. So let me get this on and I guess I'll give you a little view of how it goes in. Okay, so now we're up in here with a little grease on the inside. We're just gonna kind of work. I need both my hands, but pretty much you're gonna just push down on the lip. So this inner portion here kind of goes flat. Kind of get a view and then just work around like that, pushing the lip so it doesn't flare out. So now I do have a tool once you get that set to knock it in evenly, which I don't have. So I'm just gonna use a small little mallet and maybe like a punch, a small punch, brass punch to not do any damage. Just go evenly around so it's flushed in there. All right guys, so our new uh, rear main seal's in. I literally just got like a quarter inch extension of a little mallet or a dead blow really. Just went around until it was nice and even and flush. So now we're gonna put all of our pieces back on and get our bolts threaded in with thread lock. Okay guys, so everything's in place and back on. Now this gets torqued down to 22 foot pounds and then a 90 degree turn, which I've already done. Uh, but there is a sequence. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that is it. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, more videos to come.